Hi guys, today I have my update to my update number one to the seven summer flings. Uh, the intro I uh, uploaded, recorded and uploaded on the 19th of May. Uh, today's the 16th of June, so I'm recording it a few days short of a full month because it's Father's Day weekend and I actually have a little free time right now. My husband took the kids to the pool, so I wanted to take advantage so I can record this because I still need to record my weekly makeup basket early too, so I could have it uploaded on time. Okay, so I'm going to jump right into it with this product because I can't show you the progress. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights and it's a face illuminator and this one is in bronze light. And prior to putting it into this project, I think I'd only, I hadn't used it more than a handful of times to be quite honest with you. Unfortunately, I can't show you where I started and where, you know, where I'm at right now because the packaging is so opaque. What I can tell you though is that I have been using it maybe at least three out of the five times that I put makeup on during the week. Uh, it's really, really pretty. I've solely been using this as a primer. So I will sometimes put it on my face and just rub it all over my face as a primer and then go over top with a foundation. Or sometimes I'll mix it in with my foundation to darken it up a little bit. So that's how I've been able to use it. It's really, really pretty. I have it on today. I actually put it on first and then I put in the uh, on the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation over top of it. It looks really pretty. I also brought it down my neck, my decollete and stuff. So it gives you a really nice um, radiance without looking glittery, which is really great. The only thing is I feel like on the face I have to add a little bit extra because it does get a little patchy it doesn't give you an all uh, an even bronze look on the face it does look a little bit patchy so I have to be very careful when I'm blending it in this is the NYX mineral set it don't fret it uh, matte loose powder sorry I lost my train of thought I started up here and now I'm down to here and I'm actually really shocked at the amount of progress that I have because I really thought it was going to take me a while to go through this product. But I think the reason why I've gone through it so fast is number one, this is the only powder that I've stuck to. I haven't been using anything else. And number two, I've also been using it to do a little baking in my T-zone area because I'm using more hydrating or illuminating foundations right now. I need something to control my oils because I have combo oily skin. So I've used it to stack it up in my T-zone, like the sides of my nose, like this, yeah, the sides of my nose, between my brows and my chin area. And I think because of that, I've gone through it so fast, which is so shocking to me. So I don't know if I showed you guys a uh, close-up of that, but uh, let's do a little, a little close-up right there so you guys can see. So the line was up there and now it's down to there. And then I have my e.l.f. Cool Bronzer. And I will do a before and after picture for you guys to see. But it kind of shows you here anyways. This dark area right here is where I had already had the... Like it was already bare when I brought it into this project. And the little, you know, shiny metal that you see right there, the outline all around here is what I've used so far. But I will have a before and after picture. For you to see. And then I have my lip liner from Maybelline. This is in nude. Not my favorite lip liner. I think I mentioned that in my intro and that's why I put it in this project because I want to use it. And quite frank, quite frankly, I love the color. The color is really, really pretty, but it just feels like I'm rubbing wood on my lips and it's very, very uncomfortable. It's not a very comfortable feeling, but that's actually pushing me to use it more. This is the only lip, lip liner that I have stuck to for the entire month. I think, have I used anything else? I think I used uh, the Fuchsia one that I had in my weekly makeup basket, but 95, 96, 97% of the time I've been using this one. And that's because I just want to get it out and it's pushing me to use it more because I don't like it, which is so weird. Um, it's just funny to me. Uh, so anyways, I started, you know, you can see the line up there and then the progress line right there. If you can see it, I think it's trying to focus on my face, but right there. Uh, so can't wait for this to be done and then I also have my covergirl tantalized lipstick which is so funny my 
I was telling my friend that I was trying to get rid of this lipstick and I have it in a project and I said it tastes really bad and it smells really bad and she smelled it she's like oh yeah it smells really bad put it on didn't even coat her entire lips which was hilarious and immediately removed it because she does she hated the taste of it if this color wasn't so pretty uh, I wouldn't be torturing myself to be quite honest with you but I really like the color so I am making it work so I started right there right there at the top right there and then you can see the progress right there at the peak hopefully you can you can see it and then I saved the la the best for last basically because I finished this thing this is the elf makeup miss and set and uh, I started off right there. Can you guys? Right there. And it's just completely done. Not my favorite, uh, to be quite honest with you. I use it sometimes to prep my face for the other primers and foundation, whatever. And then I also used it to set my entire makeup. And this is pretty much all I stuck to for the entire month. I didn't use anything else, which is why I'm done with it. So today I actually moved on to the second bottle because at the intro I said, you know, once I'm done with this one, I want to move on to this one right here. I have two of these for some reason. I don't know why. But this one is right up here. And once I'm done with this video, I will mark it. Um, I will mark it. But one product down, which is great. That's going in the empties bin. So that is everything, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you have... Uh, if you're working on this project, I lost my train of thought. If you're working on this project, and I will be sure to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great uh, week or weekend whenever you're watching this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.